Hello again from the Richard and Judy Book Club, exclusive to WH Smith, and we're here today to talk about this cracking novel. Um, it's by Peter May. It's called The Black House, and on the front cover it says Evil Lies Within, mm. and it certainly does. It, it's set on Lewis, mostly, way, way off the coast of the UK. It's a great setting, Peter, um, and you write evocatively about Lewis and uh, an island life, and it makes me wonder if you've actually lived there or, or experienced it. Well, I... I basically lived there for five months a year for five years when I was producing a drama series that I'd created for Scottish television. Which one? Ah. What was it called? It was called Macher, but it was in the Gaelic language. Oh, uh -huh. right. Um, so you, you no, speak Gaelic? I don't, I don't you speak do Gaelic. Speak That's the weirdest thing. <laughs> but, um, so you spent a long time there then? Yeah. yeah. Uh, five months a year, five years, um, kind of locked on the island because, you know, in those days you couldn't get off no. at the weekends because there was no Sunday ferry, there was no Sunday flight. Well, yeah. no, that, that far in Scotland, and I've spent some time in the very far north of Scotland myself, uh, Sundays, nothing happens. I mean, they, they mm. still observe the Sabbath, don't they? Oh, very much. Massive. And the Isle of Lewis was, you know, when I first arrived there, um, I think my first visit was 1990, mm. um, we arrived on the Saturday, and on the, the Sunday we went out looking for lunch. Mm. <laughs> Forget nothing, it. Nothing was open, <laughs> no pubs, no restaurants. Yeah. You couldn't buy cigarettes if you want cigarettes. You couldn't get petrol for your car. Yeah. Everything was shut. Yeah. Absolutely everything. Well, yeah. tell us about the story. It, the, the, the hero is a, is a, a Scottish police detective called Finn MacLeod. Yeah. Uh, and this is the first of a trilogy. He's going to appear two, two more times in two more novels. Yes. Yeah. Well, d d just give us a thumbnail sketch of the, of the plot. It's, uh, it, it, it's a detective who has come from the island, uh, born and brought up there, who, like many islanders, got away at the first opportunity, in his case, to go to university. Mm. But he ended up on the, the police force on the mainland. Mm -hmm. um, and for, for various reasons, personal reasons, he has never wanted to go back. But a particular murder which has taken place in Edinburgh is replicated mm. uh, on the island. And, and just, just to interrupt, the, the, re the various personal reasons that he doesn't want to go back are the subject of, uh, of the novel, because you go back to his childhood Absolutely, as well yes. at the time. Mm. So there's this terrible murder on the Isle of Lewis. We, we can say a bit about it, because it's, it's in the first chapter. It's a, it's a horrible murder. It's a, the body of a man's found. He's been strung up and eviscerated. Yes. Um, as you say, it echoes an earlier killing, a few months earlier, maybe a year ago, in Edinburgh. Right. So this... So your, your hero, because he's born and brought up on the island, is sent out there because he's the obvious guy for the job. He, he knows right. the locals. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And that, that journey back for him is, is not only a, uh, an investigation, but it's a journey back through his life. Mm. Um, and he and we discover all those characters that he grew up with which are related in some way to the final resolution of the, of the story. It yeah. strikes me reading about all the characters that, that he, he, he meets again, in many cases for the first time since he left as a teenager, um, that living on an island like that must be like living in a bubble. Um, everything, time seems to stop. When he goes back he finds that none of them have really moved on at all in their lives. They're all the same people doing the same things. I think that's very much the case when you live in a, in that, a literally insular community like that, mm. that life just does go on in very much the same way, day after day, month after month, year after year, mm. which is why they want to get away. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and the ones that do get away, like, like Finn, um, are sort of in some, some ways quite resented by the, their, the, their own peers, the, the people they grew up with the who are still are stuck behind, there yes. behind. Yeah. Why did you decide, I won't reveal what it is, although it happens right at the beginning, so but why did you decide to start the, um, start the story with such a, a terrible tragedy happening to Finn? I think uh, it, 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 it had to, his story had to develop out of, I think, out of personal tragedy, yeah. um, because his, his life, in a way, has been fairly tragic. Yeah. He's, he's like many of us, he's, he's made mistakes, taken the wrong turn, turning at almost every crossroads. Yeah. Um, and, and here is a, a cathartic moment in his life where he's, his, his son is killed in a, uh, in a hit and run mm. uh, road accident. And, yeah. uh, and if, if anything was going to propel him uh, out of this escape that he's been living in for the last 18 years, mm. it's something like that. Yeah. Mm. Um, yeah. It's sort of the, the portrait of his marriage, which um, emerges from the, the first chapters is, is very bleak, isn't it? Mm. And when their son dies, um, they realise there's just nothing left for them at all between them. So that it's again, just from a case in real life, isn't it? Yeah, and that again is is, is the reason why he is sort of uh, 
propelled back into his own solitary existence, isn't it? That's right. Yeah. I, I mean, I think that, that, you know, as Richard said, it's so often the case that, that the yeah. children are the glue that hold the marriage yeah. together, and, and, yeah. and you take that away and it just all disintegrates. Yeah. The book sort of orbits and gets closer and closer to a, 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 an extraordinary event, which is based on, on, on real life, called, let me get this right, the Guga. And this is an annual tradition which goes back hundreds of years on, on, on Lewis, where the men, the fishermen, go out to a, a, a bare rock about, what, 50 miles out to sea? Yes. Um, and slaughter, <coughs> is it um, gannets? Um, it's baby gannets. Baby gannets for food. Um, and they cure them and they take them back. And it's a rare delicacy, which outsiders hate, but people on Lewis <laughs> love. Now, this is absolutely pivotal to the book, yes. th th this, this, this hunt, both in the past and in, and in, the, in the present day. You write about it uh, uh, magnificently. I mean, you really <laughs> do. I mean, again, it struck me, you must have been on, on, this, on this hunt, but you, you say not. No, um, it's, it's, a, it's a kind of closed circle. I mean, there, there are these 10 or 12 men from Ness in the northwest of Lewis who mm -hmm. make this journey every August out to Sulisker is the name of the actual island. I call it Ansker in the book. Mm -hmm. uh, Sulisker is, I think, literally is, is uh, uh, Gallic and Norse for the Gannet Rock. Gannet right. Rock, uh, right. Ansker okay. is literally the rock. <coughs> right. Um, and the Guga is the, the young Gannet. That's the Gallic name for the young Gannet. Mm -hmm. um, and they, they, they've been making this trip for 400 years. <laughs> and it, it, originally they did it you know, because out of necessity, because they needed to eat, and th this was the only place that they could get food at that yeah. point. Now it has evolved into a tradition, and it's much more like a rite of passage. Mm. Um, you mean for young men? For young men, for, yeah. 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 Um, and uh, so they make this trip every year. They are limited uh, for conservation reasons to killing 2,000 birds. Mm -hmm. um, and how, do they, how do they kill them? Um, well, it's a, it's a kind of bloody process, really. Um, but but actually quick. Mm. It, it sounds worse than it than it. It's a sort it, of um, garrote, isn't it? Well, the the hit in the head, yeah. very you know, very very. Quick. I mean, a single blow kills them, yeah. and then the bird is passed to the next in line who decapitates them. Right. It's yeah. it, you know, and the rock ends up being you know, it starts off white covered with guano, and ends up red covered with yeah. blood. So it's it's a, yeah. it's a pretty gory process. And they spend quite a long time there, don't they? For two weeks. And there's nothing on the rock. There's no fresh water. There's no power. There's, they have to take everything with them. So, so, so really, it, um, you, the, the, the central thing which happens on the rock uh, when Finn went there is actually um, sort of the, the, the levels of stress which must exist on that rock for two weeks uh, mm -hmm. with, 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 with nothing there it must be very, very high. I, I, I think they are. And, you, you know, they're taken out by trawler and yeah. dropped there and then the trawler goes. Yeah. And they're, they're, they're there and um, they're left, I think, with a kind of CB radio <laughs> for emergencies and God. quite often that doesn't work. Yeah. Um, so they really are on their own, totally isolated out there. It's it, extraordinary it, that it still goes on. I know. It really yeah. is. Yeah. Well, um, I'm delighted that it's, this is the first of a trilogy. Are they all going to be set on Lewis or is he going to get around the Isles of Scotland? Well, the, centred on Lewis, the second book, okay. uh, Finn uh, who's the main character mm. in the first book. In The Black House, I tell his story. Yeah. In the other two books, although he's fairly central to the telling of the stories, they are the stories are other, other, other people's people. stories. I understand. Right. Um, and the second one also goes down to South Uist and Eriske yeah. um, for, for a little bit of a I time. look forward to finding out what... Uh, Finn, what happens to Finn? The end of the book is uh, very intriguing. And <laughs> yes, it is, to seeing yes, that. Yeah. Well, it's a really <laughs> cracking story. It really, really is. Um, it's published in France as well, isn't it? Which is where you it live. It yeah. is, yes. Do you write in French? Uh, no, I don't write in French. <laughs> <laughs> but you don't speak Gallic and you don't speak French. Uh, <laughs> this man is a well, fraud, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> a complete fraud. Um, yeah. <laughs> anyway, if you want to find out more about the book and all the other books uh, that are on the Richard and Judy Book Club list, then you simply go to whsmith.co.uk forward slash Richard and Judy. Thanks for joining us.